Hey, this is the last uh, of the of the videos uh, in the series for um, Gold Rat Simulator. Uh, let's briefly recap what we have done so far, where we have uh, made the right decisions and we have where we have made uh, not so right decisions. Okay, um, the F line seems to be going as expected uh, because. We have sold the 10 pre-processed units that were available to us at the beginning of the solution, um, at the beginning of the simulation, and we have made some money out of them, so that's fine. Plus, uh, our cyan, cyan over here and the magenta over here, they are working, they are pushing items up, so we should be good. In all, we have 20 plus 9 plus 1 in processing, 30 items being processed. So we should go over here and make these 30 sales at some point in time in day 4 or day 5. That's good. The E line is also working and progressing in a not so bad manner. Uh, we have moved all the raw materials from this level up to this level. And uh, this magenta uh, resource has also um, processed all the all the units that were assigned to it and it has moved one step up so now the dependency is on this blue resource over here to process these 13 and to move them up okay <coughs> excuse me um so that is fine here we have a problem we have actually have a huge problem what we had done uh, was purchase 65 units and get them to process the processing happened fine but then I made a mistake I put the green resource away from here and over here now remember that whatever units are available here get processed here and stored here they get bifurcated into both the lines now this line doesn't move as fast as this line and that is the reason why many of the units that became available here have gone over to this line. The resultant is, I needed only 40 units to be processed. Now I have 33 lying here and 21 lying here, which is I have 54 work in progresses in the A line. I can sell only 40 of them. So 14 will stay in inventory even though I have them processed. Now that's a, that's a definitely a non-optimal situation. But unfortunately, there is nothing I can do about it as of now. Um, one thing I can do and I should do is get this green resource away from here. So the A5 goes away and he comes over here. The F1 has also produced, the green resource has produced every, um, processed every item that was assigned to it. So it is also staying idle. So I can give it to C. Now you see, I have a little bit of a pickle of a situation here because I don't have any work in processes here I don't have any work in processes here but I still need to make 17 units uh, to sell that means I need to purchase I need to purchase 17 here and 17 here so that I can feed this line so let me do that quickly I should not have had to do it um, if I had uh, being vigilant about this green guy uh, over producing but I wasn't so well I have to pay a, uh, quite a bit of penalty here so the quantity that we are going to purchase is 13 and 13 of here now the penalty is not limited to the uh, to the amount I had to pay uh, to purchase this raw materials the penalty is also in terms of the time it is going to take uh, to get these items uh, from here to here and from here to here. Uh, so I'm also going to lose out on some amount of time. Um, but that's okay. Uh, it was a trial run, so uh, these kind of mistakes are, are definitely likely to happen. Um, we can always improve them in our subsequent runs. Okay. Um, so having set this up, uh, what I need to do next is... Uh, make sure that if I have a f idle magenta, I can move that magenta to uh, to A7 because there are some work in progresses here and I can definitely uh, process them. 
OK. Um, the next item should be, uh, the next order of action would be to wait until every item over here has moved to this place and then shift the blue from the E line to the F line so then we can make the sales happen. Now at some point I would need to move this uh, this magenta or where is the other magenta? The other magenta is an F3. Okay, so this guy will be free by then I can move him to this position so that we can start producing and at that point I would need to make a um, another move which is for the sign resource so I can move sign from over here to here in fact I can move sign right now because he's not doing anything so let him stay there and get started up okay I think I have done the right amount of planning for my day four operations let's begin Okay, so as expected, the buffer here is getting built up. These guys are still setting up. They're going to take some time to uh, get set up properly and start processing these 13 units. Okay, I need to move this blue guy immediately over here so that I can get some job to work. And then I need to move this magenta too. So the first order of action should be to move magenta. I have only one item work in progress over here. Letting it to zero. Okay. So now I can move magenta to here and I can move the blue guy to here so that it can start to get some sales happening now you can see this brown is idle so and I have units here depending upon waiting upon this brown so I'll get this brown to work so he will start producing and again we will choke because we would not have uh, a blue uh, to work for us but this this guy is moving a little quicker it takes around 14 seconds 14 units of time to produce so and also, as you can see, we have started uh, making sales. So our cash register is ringing. So day four hasn't been as bad as I expected it to be. At some point, I need to move a sign over here. Sign is an F and A. So this sign can move over here to make the okay so let's take a look at the end of day four where are we uh, we still haven't sold any of a we have sold quite a few of c and uh, some of b uh, rather d not b so okay let me rephrase it we have sold nothing of product one 13 of product two and I think 25 of product 3 and we are in profit we have uh, 3350 in profit for the next day we need to plan so the plan of action should be to move the blue the blue is going to be a real problem to us because uh, we have to feed this line uh, we have items uh, already waiting for the blue guy over here so we need to move the blue here then we need to move the brown to over here so I can make that move right now the brown goes over there uh, one of the signs f9 f9 is waiting but uh, it won't wait long for long it is going to produce something so yeah I can let this be I will move this sign over here as soon as it hits zero so that I can start the sale to happen okay let me begin day five this is judgment day so this is selling that's okay a6 moves over here so that we can start selling some of three product one now I have a big dependency on the blue I'm afraid that I will not be able to do justice to this uh, to this product too over here 
So the blue needs to be moved immediately to c5 because we have some buffer here but we have nothing here. So let's see how quickly we can move. Okay, we can move it now. It will quickly start producing. So I'll wait until all these 12 are produced. Now this line is open. Okay, I need to move a sign here. Let the sign be here. I could have moved it a little quickly. So let's see. So we have sold everything in product 3, which is good. Uh, we are selling items here really nicely. That's also good. We are making cash. 22,690. Just not bad, not bad at all. Let me quickly pause it and show you where do we stand. So uh you see we are probably not going to be able to sell everything of of uh a uh sorry product one although uh, we went really really well over here but we were not able to sell it because uh i guess i was lax in moving the sign resource in in due time um so we only have around 45 second 45 minutes left of day five and we have uh, we are yet to sell 24 units. We have everything available, but this takes around 18 units of time to sell one unit. So I think we can sell only maybe three more of this, and then we are really going to suffer over here. And the bigger worry is also here, because we have, uh, well, we have to sell only two more, but uh, I think we'll be good over here, but we will be left with, no, we won't be left with anything, so... I guess we are good here. So I think the only line that is going to suffer is this line. Unfortunately, we can't do much about it. Okay, so this is the um, end of the uh, session. This is what this is how we performed. We made a profit of $2,890. Um, so it kind of went down because of many of the inventory items. So actually we had sold quite a lot. Sales were 22380 but the inventory value has uh, dragged us down. Okay. Um, our ROI was 29.15%. Uh, we sold everything of F. We sold only 49 of D, and in A, we really, really suffered because we could sell only 19. And over here, it shows our resource utilization. Blue, as expected, was almost uh, optimally utilized. Green, uh, well, green is not a critical resource, uh, but so this, this number is kind of expected because uh, you need it only for the first half of the process. Science. Science should have been, could have been uh, managed better, but uh, I made a mistake, few mistakes, so that's why it didn't happen. Magenta. Magenta has been okay. Brown. Oh, brown is also a kind of a toggling resource. So, yeah. So, this is how you run a simulation, and uh, you can definitely uh, make improvements, no doubt about that. You just have to make sure that you don't leave too many items in the... Uh, in, 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 in the inventory, the mistake I made of leaving around 27 uh, units over here, which could never be sold, um, that was that was a wrong decision or a wrong step. But anyway, um, you get an idea of how to run them. Just try on your own. Uh, try out your own ideas. Uh, I'm sure you would be able to beat these numbers. And um, yep, good luck. Have fun with the Gold Rat Simulator. Thank you.